Vegan's Theory of Moral Development. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Megan Teacher Plain and today let's talk about Carl Gilligan's Theory of Moral Development. Carl Gilligan was a research assistant for the great theorist of moral development, Lawrence Colbert. Gilligan became independent and began to criticize some of Colbert's work. Her opinions were presented in her famous book, In a Different Voice, Psychological Theory and Women's Development, which was published in 1982. Gilligan's criticized Kohlberg's work on two things. First, she felt that Kohlberg only studied privileged white men and boys. Gilligan said that this caused a biased opinion against women. Second one, she felt that in Kohlberg's stage theory of moral development, the male view of individual rights and rules was considered a higher at stage 4 against women at stage 3 disregarding women's point of view of development in terms of its caring effect on human relationships. Gilligan's goal was to prove that women are not moral midgets. She was going against many psychological opinions. Another famous jurist, Freud thought women's moral sense was stunted because they stayed attached to their mothers. Another great jurist, Eric Erikson, thought the tasks of development were separation from mother and the family. If women did not succeed in this scale, then they were obviously lacking. Her theory is divided into three stages of moral development, beginning from selfish to social or conventional morality, and finally to post-conventional or principled morality. Women must learn to deal to their interests and to the interests of others. She thinks that women hesitate to judge because they see the complexities of relationships. Pre-conventional Person only cares for themselves in order to ensure survival. This is how everyone is as children. In this transitional phase, the person's attitude is considered selfish and the person sees the connection between themselves and others. Conventional Responsibility more care shown for other people. Gilligan says this is shown in the role of mother and wife. Situation sometimes carries on to ignoring needs of self. In this transitional phase, tensions between responsibility of caring for others and caring for self are faced. Post-conventional. Acceptance of the principle of care for self and others is shown. Some people never reach this level. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!